Good morning, everybody. It's a Thursday, the 25th of November, and I'm here in Cromer on Sydney's northern beaches. And uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning, and I'm off on my morning run. Uh, I'm up here again this week doing some grandparent duty. Uh, my grandson and I are going to spend a couple of days with my granddaughter and her mother uh, off on the Gold Coast for a national cheerleading competition. And today I'm doing a different run than the ones I did last week when I was here not running around Arabian Lagoon I'm going to run out to uh, DY Beach from here this is the first section obviously Getting started always the hardest part of the run. And you've got a hill like that. Start it's a bit I think. This section as you can see. No footpaths. And Running on grass. This is Carrington Avenue if you're trying to orient yourself or if you're a local you know the area. Like a right turn here into Toronto Avenue. Hardest part about running sometimes is getting out of bed. It's reasonably good conditions here. A bit deep in here, but not cold. Uh, sun's coming up, so you know, once you're out, you just stuff on and you get going. It's fine. It's just picking yourself out of bed. A minute or two. This is a uh, South Creek here, although it's not named, I'm pretty sure it is South Creek. Up the top of the hill here is uh, South Creek Road.
I go right along here for a bit. camera will be very good at picking up the uh, rim and my shoes, my hands which is what you normally see when you get one of my running videos. Across the road at the first tree crossing here, and there's a track going around the back of the survey there. If I can find it again today. Sometimes you're lucky, get a motorist and they stop for you. Uh, how long he used to do, why it says. I don't know what this suburb here is called, whether it's still in Kramer or somewhere else. I have just up ahead here. here place called Kramer Park or Kramer Reserve. It's like a football field. So I assume we're still in Kramer then. Heading in a G 
generally a easterly direction. You can see coming into the sunrise. This is Cromer Park here. walkers out, cyclists and runners haven't seen that haven't seen him for a few minutes and then of course here comes the cyclists as soon as you say you don't see any uh, this is the main trail Whatever to DY Beach. calls in the background not sure what sort of birds they are but nice to hear them It's interesting to know or to speculate who walks who when you see someone with a big dog, especially when it's somebody slight. I know in my case, my dog Butch, he's probably 35 or more kilos. He uh, pretty well determines where we're going to go and the pace at which we're going to go. And uh, he gets just in his head when walking it he wants to cross the road for some reason I don't know what's better on the other side of the road than where we are but we cross the road checks out a few light poles and trees and whatever and then crosses back to the side he was on to start off with they give us Immense joy though, dogs. You never know how much until you get one. And then, when they're gone, you know there's going to be a big hole in your life. I 
don't know what this road's called. I'm going to cross it. Keep going. Talking a moment ago about me, the hardest point about getting out running sometimes is the actual getting out of bed. I think that's the same with lots of people who want to exercise in the morning, just getting up and getting out and doing it. And one of my hobby horses I know I talk about a lot when I'm running is you've got to provide there's facilities for people to do that and for most people that's going to be a decent pathway like this I know there are people who are trail runners who love the bush tracks uh, but for most people, I suspect they want something that resembles a road or a footpath they can run or walk on. And when you provide those things, people walk it out and use them. One thing I noticed recently at uh, the park run in Goulburn that I go to and also Curl Curl Park run that I have run here a couple of times and the Windsor Precinct Park run in Tasmania that I run and I'm down there is the number of children who are coming to park run um, seems to be more and more and often they're running by themselves, otherwise their parents is, or whoever's in charge of them is uh, running the kids are running by themselves I know the park run rules so it's very close to an adult uh, some of these kids are setting pretty good pace uh, and the parent, I guess, struggling to keep up. And last time I was at Curl Curl, the kid who came in first was, I think, 15. Uh, but it's not about who comes first or the second or whatever. It's just about those kids getting out, having a run, and he established that habit early becomes a lifelong habit and the good thing about running as an exercise or an activity is it doesn't cost anything and according to the sign here BY reaches 1.1 across this road here Because it's busy, you've got to do the traffic stop. Of course, that brings down your time, your pace, your heart rate goes down for a while. With nothing to be done about any of that, so better than being skittled by a car. The sign there saying it says DY Lagoon Refuge, Wildlife Refuge. Got 
good to get away from the traffic noise. Hopefully you can hear what I've got to say, which is not anything terribly enlightening, but this makes the watching a bit more interesting. Number of bridges over this. I'm assuming this is part of the South Creek. Uh, um, I'm not sure what the word is. Collecting the streams. Well, that looks like a man-made one, actually, or person-made one, or built one. Whatever the correct term is these days. Uh, uh, when you go around the Narbeen Lagoon, a couple of Look at impressive, impressive first stream bridges over that. almost actually hit across the next road here which actually I think is a car park is uh, D.Y. Beach so for those outside of Sydney or outside of Australia if you're watching D.Y. is on the east coast just north of Sydney in the area known as the Northern Beaches Sand. Oh, 
but here we are Pacific Ocean DY Beach I feel like a bit like Forrest Gump now I'm tired now I think I'll go home terrible Forrest Gump impression I know but that's what happened to him he got to the ocean doesn't it turned around and went back that's what I'm going to do now I'm not going to film a large section of the return leg most of the same I'll pick up again when I come to the intersection of where I joined this path and feel me the rest of the way home.